Well, howdy, everybody there in YouTube land. This is Amateur Artist Mar D channel once again from Mainland. Now, this here video you're about to see is about three shots I shot on my cell phone. And I happen to be going through an electrical storm. Now, let me explain. A little bit of setup is necessary because I didn't pull my camera out to explain what was going on before I actually shot the footage. Uh, on the way home, on a, uh, let's just say a, a Tuesday night, a Tuesday afternoon, a Tuesday night, tour Tuesday night, uh, there was a lot of curvy roads I had to go through downhill and uh, there was an, an electrical storm. Lightning boats were going off left and right. They were hitting next to the truck and forward the truck, back the truck. I mean, like they're prominent. And when I got to a certain point, no heavy rain at this point, uh, when I came around to one particular curve, I saw some smoke rising. And the smoke, I thought, was first like, is that like a huge, like steam? You know how it rains and everything steams, you know? Like, no, it can't be because it's been raining all freaking day, you know? Uh, but as I got a little bit closer, I was like, oh, that looks a little bit like smoke. Like, somebody's burning something out there, you know? They could intermediately say, hey, I got to burn something up. We're going to add some diesel to it. I'm like, no, there's no black smoke. That's that's not a, that's not a, an actual fire. So as I got a little bit closer, I realized it wasn't an actual fire or steam. So I had to pull over and record what you're seeing now. Evidently lightning just struck this tree. Or it just fell over and fell on the power lines. Wow. I need to get around this before it collapses. I'll be trapped and can't get home. Yeah. This is the one I'm having to deal with. Let me turn the AC down. Yeah. Man, I tell you what, this is a hell of a thunder blunder. Since you've seen that pine tree. Yeah, I don't need to be recording this. But, eh, anyway. We're getting pelted here in the state of Mississippi. Well, that's actually a little bit better. I can see about. 25 feet or so. Looks better on the view screen. Wow. Hey, that's cool. I can see better on my daggum cell phone than I can't have the windshield. Yeah, lightning going on. No doubt about it. <laughs> anyway. Of all the daggum things I gotta record, I'm in an electrical storm. Electrical storm here. Got a, got a truck here on the right hand side. Yeah, hard ass rain, lightning bolts going off left and right. And me, I decided to pull up my cell phone and record it. Not too bright, especially on my part. Alright, it's lit up a little bit, so let me go to the pedal the metal because that truck that was on the right hand side is now behind me. Yeah, he put his full rear end down. Now I can't see it again. Now I got the windshield. The windshield wiper going. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> the fast still go. Yeah, he turned off now, so we're all right. Anyway, folks, don't do the things that I do. Because I am just an amateur after all. Yeah, that's what amateurs do. You may be asking yourself, what what are you doing here, man? Lamb? What's the point of the video? The point is this: uh, you've seen a lot of videos of people, uh, amateurs or semi-professionals or people that call themselves professionals. Period. They go out there and they get into the daggum eye of a tornado. You know, you've seen the, the tornado footage. They're standing at the front door and they're taking buildings out, but yet they're sitting there recording it. And yes, out of so-called either bravery or stupidity, they're doing these things. Well, I think the, 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 the chain link of command in the brain is the fact that 
I'm recording something for YouTube. I can get thousands of views out of this. And they may actually do. Uh, but me, to be perfectly honest, is total safety. I mean, I've been a retired firefighter for a very long time, so I'm not exactly an amateur when it comes to this. I was actually a storm chaser, that type of thing, and I'm using my cell phone in this particular footage, which happened to be poor quality audio. I tried to make it the best I can. But the thing is, is I did not go past the hood of my truck. I parked a safe distance away to record this pine tree, which I wish I had really had this camera to zoom in to get the dramatic effect. I wasn't about to step any closer than the hood of my truck. And I was about 50 foot away. Well, fit, I, I don't know. I can't actually measure it. But I wouldn't get any closer, period, point blank. And that's just it. So the footage you saw is for safety reasons. Now, me going down the road and recording this, it was pretty much safe. However, when I opened up my cell phone, I could actually see better through the viewfinder than I could actually out <coughs> my windshield. And I thought, well, this is the first time I've done this, and this is kind of like interesting. So I actually used my cell phone, even after the footage shut off, to help me get through that worst part of the rain. I don't know if my cell phone had this anti-glare filter in it or what the case may be. Or maybe an increase in light or whatever the case may be. But I did actually use it to get to the house, point blank. So, you know, what I'm doing is not an excuse 100% to anybody out there trying to shoot this 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 footage just for YouTube and why did I post it I'm gonna be honest folks <sighs> Manland is stupid and for those of you that watch these YouTube videos of people posting these type of videos is pretty much stupid so I'm not trying to make myself an exception I'm including myself in that category of being stupid. There you go.